Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to install WhatsApp natively on Windows without using BlueStacks or any other junk virtualization software. And no, I'm not talking about WhatsApp Web or the desktop app provided by WhatsApp which is basically a WhatsApp Web running on their own browser. We're not going to do that, we're going to install the APK of WhatsApp directly onto Windows. So there are some prerequisites before we move forward and I can show you. Here is what you will need. Number one, you will need Windows 11 running build 22000 or later. Number two, you will need virtualization enabled in your BIOS. You can quickly Google it to find out. I might have a video on my channel right up there if you want to check it out on that. And number three is an SSD. You can only install Windows subsystem for Android which we will need for today's video only on an SSD drive. But it may work on hard drives but it is recommended that you use an SSD. So without further ado, let me show you how to install WhatsApp natively on Windows 11 right on your desktop. So let's go. Alright guys, to get started installing WhatsApp on your PC natively and not the web or the desktop version which is just a web browser, you need to go to your Microsoft Store and click on search and then type in Android and open this app and then you can click on get from Amazon App Store that will push you to download Windows subsystem for Android so you want to just download that don't worry about Kindle it won't be installing it without your permission alright so once the Windows subsystem for Android is downloaded it will give you the option to open Amazon App Store we're not going to do that close out of it now you need to start and then look for Android and then launch it all you need to do now is enable developer mode you also got to click on manage developer settings to get this message click on allow access that will start the windows subsystem for android and then if you hit refresh you'll see an ip address boom we have an ip you can copy that by clicking this button here now before we continue we need to download a few files so we'll need to download whatsapp itself as well as adb to install WhatsApp. Right guys, so first up we're going to download WhatsApp. Just click on this link in the description and download the latest WhatsApp APK. Download that. While it downloads, you can jump onto this link, which is be the second link in the description, Android file host. It's an ADB kit. It's a small file that will allow us to install APK in the future. You only need to do this once and then in future you can install any APK you want. By the way, if you want to check out how to install any APK on Windows 11, it's going to be right up there so you can check it out. But for now, we're just going to download ADB Kit. Download. Now for simplicity, I'm going to drag the files that I downloaded onto desktop so it's easy for you guys to follow. Right here. WhatsApp is going to be this white file. Just that's fine. What I'm going to do is going to rename it to just whatsapp.apk because you don't want that long name to interfere with mistakes while typing. And then I'm going to right click this, extract all, extract, and that will give me this. Now all you need to do is just double click open command prompt here. Now we'll see this screen. Now all we need to do is go to adb, connect, and then the IP address that we took earlier, 17231, just copy that and then space, paste it, and press enter, give it a few seconds. It says fail to authenticate 172, let's try again. Okay, we are connected, it's connected fine. Now all we need to do is right click, cut, open the folder, open the folder again, paste it here, and now you have WhatsApp in the same directory as where we need it to be. And now adb install whatsapp.apk, press enter. You can see it's installed, it took a few seconds, you can close out of this window. You can even delete all of these files if you don't need it and wait for it. You'll see WhatsApp in your start menu. Now click on that. Boom. We have WhatsApp. Keep crying. And then go ahead and type in your phone number. And there you go. WhatsApp running on your PC without any web app, stuff like that. You'll obviously need a separate number to run it just on your PC. It's running all natively without any blue stacks. You can even pin it to your taskbar. If I close it, okay, it's closed. If I launch it, boom. Launches so fast, 
almost feels like a native app. That's how you get it installed and up and running. By the way, pro tip, if you want to run multiple WhatsApp accounts on Windows, you can install the WhatsApp business app as well. That way you can have two accounts on Windows and then if you really want to get serious, you can use the Duplicate Apps app to even generate more numbers. But at that stage, I don't know what you're doing, but you can do it if you need to. And there you have folks, full version of WhatsApp, Android version running on Windows. You can use it standalone without relying on your phone or anything else. You can have a dedicated number on it, stuff like that. Do whatever you want. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. You can check out my other videos right up here and down there. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.